society today about how we can replace a religious belief or a spiritual belief with direct experience. Instead of being believers, we can become those who know directly by reconnecting with what is. Instead of believing in God, believing in almighty, absolute, supreme, pure existence, that which has no name, whatever you might call it, it doesn't matter whichever name you give it. Instead of believing in it, believing in that, you develop direct experience of that. You become one with it. It is so, so possible. It is so, so close. It is quite ridiculous. Once you realize how close it is, how it's actually really here all the time that we just develop this mistake and wrong habits. And by repeating them again and again and again, ingraining them deep inside for many, many successive lifetimes, we have this experience of life on a physical level, as it is, punishing, harsh, a struggle with abrupt start or abrupt end, often, often so unpleasant, often so lacking, disappointing. And to make sense of it, we need to believe, we want to believe that there is something else, some other place where we can be at peace, where we can be happy without ending, when there is no birth or death where there is just this blissful eternity, eternity. We want to believe, we need to believe. And when we can't find a way, a way to know ourselves, a, a know-how to develop this connection with it, ourselves, we turn to organized religion, we turn to organized spiritual movements, spiritual masters, and so on and so on, to tell us, that there is this thing, and they do, they tell us there is this thing. They tell us what to do. They tell us how to live, and so on and so on. To connect with this thing, to be part of this thing, but it's all just a belief. We believe them, we want to believe them, we need to believe them to make sense of this physical existence that otherwise just doesn't really make sense at all. And you see, we become dependent on them and they might misuse this power. They might manipulate us. They might even use this power for completely different gains than sort of spiritual or existential revelations. Sometimes they even encroach on basic human rights. It's just because of this need to believe and maybe this tiny inkling that there is something, but not knowing how to get there, not knowing how to reconnect. We turn to these outside sources and become dependent on them. But you see, by developing new habits and practicing these new habits, just a couple really, as I said in the previous videos and many, many other videos, it's just not that difficult to reconnect ourselves, to make this transition from being a believer to being the one who knows, knows from direct experience, knows what is, beyond words, beyond mental concepts, concepts, beyond beliefs, because belief is a thought. It changes over time and comes and goes. People who are believers can lose their belief, they can have doubts and not have doubts, they can lose their faith and so on and so on. But once you know, you know, you know, beyond mental concepts, beyond thoughts. It's well worth doing. It's well worth putting time and effort into developing direct experience, which is so, so close. It is ridiculous how close it is. Like two years ago, I lived my life completely on the outside with some visits to the inside occasionally, and then maybe a bit more frequently. But now I live my life, life from, the out, from the inside out. Resting in this pure existence, being connecting with the source. It is so possible.
The time varies for each one of us, but the path is the same. You see, there are people who might spend much, much, much more time beyond time and space turning inwards than us, but the path is the same. And the effects and the results are coming, are coming gradually as we progress on the path, as we persevere and put time into the path. And gaining back the power that we delegated to the outside sources. And go beyond doubts, go beyond belief, becoming those who know. Beyond beliefs, beyond mental concepts. I invite you all to do it. It is so, so, so worth it. And although it takes time, it takes perseverance, it does not necessarily take a lifetime. It's an open invitation. Use this channel and other similar channels to develop a know-how, to develop these new habits and practice them. Persevere. And you will know for yourself, beyond any doubt, you will, you will uncover the pure existence, what is for yourself, God. Absolute, that which has no name, whatever you might call it. Thank you. Take care.